Hey, hey. How you doing? Hello. I pop backstage. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Good, thanks good. For, thanks for joining on. us. Yeah, perfect. Well, my dog's barking right now. Uh, yeah, Lance Lance told me to pop on and talk about uh, the Creators for Palestine event. Awesome. Yes. Perfect. But also uh, introduce yourself and plug all your sh your things. And, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm Capri Sun Poppy. Uh, if you guys don't know who I am, I'm a content creator. I was not really like doing politics, but since the uh, Palestinian uh, crisis, I'm Palestinian. So I've been doing a lot of like on the ground coverage as best as I can. I went to a lot of the sites. Sorry, my dog is going wild. Uh, I've been through a lot of the uh, encampments and streaming it. Uh, I'm a Twitch streamer, so I've been streaming for a couple of years now and then basically got into um doing politics basically because i i think i'm the only uh political streamer that or no, a palestinian streamer that i know who's been kind of doing this a lot there's a couple others and i'm also a uh, christian palestinian which is uh kind of a foil to a lot of the uh um you know not religious but christian palestinian which is a lot of the foil to a lot of the uh, negative arguments about the uh, crisis so right. um you know i was i did an event a couple months ago where we raised a bunch of money uh for uh the the cause with like 100 creators and then now we're kind of doing it again on a bigger scale so it's been it's been cool it's 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 you know it's funny going from uh not doing like leftist commentary stuff to doing it and it's the world that i've entered into is hell <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. i was like telling lance at the beginning i was like this sucks dude i don't want to do this shit <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, like yeah, everyone knows Capri said used to do kind of like what would you say, like Mr. B style content? Like, yeah, like, like Mr. B and... just like fucking troll shit. And then I went from yeah. doing that to being like the face of the fucking movement on the internet. And everyone's like, <laughs> I don't know any Palestinians, but I know this guy and he sucks, and they're just like attacking <laughs> So uh I've been I've been um outside of uh content creation, I've been uh involved in a lot of organizations that have raised money for Gaza. Like I was uh, I'm friends with the founders of uh, PCRF and then they started a new org called um uh Heal Palestine and stuff. So it was just one of those things where people were like, Who the fuck are you? Like, how do you know about this shit? And I was like, there was like a, a post seven days before, um, especially for me not to post politics. There was a post seven days before um October 7th, where I was at a fundraiser with uh, uh for for Palestine, uh Shireen Abu Akleh is like the lady who pulled her when she got shot. Mm -hmm. I was there like listening to her story and they were raising money for Jeez. uh Palestine. And it was like at the time I was like, you know, it, 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 it's like one of those things you just get used to it you know like as an arab you're just like around that shit all the time so you kind of get used to it uh but yeah man it's it's uh it's wild it's wild going from that to uh it's it's wild like opening up the doors to the uh, the craziness that is uh leftist internet stuff you know because you know like every every five every five minutes i get a, a new racist uh, uh tweet at me which is which is funny they're really creative they're really good some of them are fire you know so, but yeah, um, we're doing, uh, we're doing an event. Uh, I think Lance is a part of it. I don't know if you guys are a part of it as well, but it's called creators for Palestine and there's a live stream on the 30th. And basically we have Smosh as part of it. We have the try guys as part of it. We're going to be doing it in their studios. Uh, it's going to be a live event where we raise money. The goal is to get a, th a million dollars. Hassan is Hassan is one of the name people. Uh, Curtis Connor, Chad, Chad. I mean, there's so many big names. It's like every major, uh, it started with like commentary YouTubers and now it's kind of like gone out into like more and more. So, uh, yeah, uh, Lance hit me up. He's like, Hey, come and come and talk about this. But it's been, it's been really cool. It's been a lot of, uh, organizing, organizing and meeting and, uh, yeah, man, it's, it, it's been a, it's been a good time. So just wanted to come in and talk about it and, uh yeah also being pretty humble it's raised over six hundred and sixty six thousand dollars so far. yeah that's wow. incredible that's like unreal unreal it's an insane yeah i we did i did this event uh by myself in the beginning and it was just me and a cut and it was a hundred other like small creators and we raised at the time like no big creator wanted to touch it right and we raised mm -hmm. like 50, 50k in a week which was cool because i was like oh that's just me and a you know a couple like us and all our small creator friends and now it's like we're doing the same event but with like all these major people and we're we're trying to cross the million so that's the goal mm. uh so yeah it's me and there's a uh, uh hassan kadir who's the mickey mouse have you ever seen him on TikTok? and uh chad chad and so many other people are running this organization it's been awesome so but yeah it's crazy stuff crazy stuff but yeah the, I, don't, I don't know what else to say about it but it's just yeah. been a lot of work 
I was curious because you said that you no know, bigger creators really wanted to touch this. How'd you get them involved? Because you have people like Smosh, Try Guys, they're not very political. So, you know, to get them to come on board to something like this, they're making a statement um, and a really important one, by the way. How'd you convince right. them or did they reach out to you? How'd that work? Because I think this is, this is really good to see. I think a lot of people, honestly, like as a, as a Palestinian person myself, it's crazy because I would have never thought there would be any major creator touching this shit with a 10 foot yeah. pole you know like there's like i mean most like half the fucking people on the left don't even like us you know so like mm -hmm. yeah. it's like it's literally one of those things where it's just like for me i would i was like telling them in the group i'm like dude you don't have any idea like the kids that like grew up like me where i was watching youtube to be like i know like oh i love this creator but these people probably want me dead you know these people are probably zionists mm -hmm. but I, I still really like this movie i'm gonna watch it but like you know mm -hmm. uh it's one of those things where a lot of them reached out to us. Uh, a lot of people have connections with people. So once you got like the bigger creators to sign on, like I wasn't involved in the beginning, but I got brought in uh, because I had the connections with the organizations. So I was like, hey, we should probably do this, this and this. And then I got reached out to because they knew I had the connections. And I had uh, I had just posted an interview with the owner of um, or the founders of PCRF because they're family friends of mine. And they reached out. So then people started to get brought in. And then people, as you see, like the bigger names, it just attracted people. So once like the couple big names signed on, it was like, I think the first couple were like Chat Chat, Hassan, Jarvis, and Curtis Connor. And um, there's more. I'm, I'm, I'm probably totally blanking on the other ones. And I'm sorry if I'm missing anyone. But as they, as those big names came on and like took the, the first step, other people joined, you know, and now people are reaching out to us. So like we have the event, it's going to be like a Smosh and Try Guys X. And then we're bringing in all the other big names to the studio to be able to do that. And uh, it's crazy that they reached out because this is basically making a political statement. You know, there's a lot of creators that don't want to touch this with a 10 foot pole. But mm -hmm. I think that the ball, once the ball started rolling on TikTok, it just basically like it's a either get out of the way. You know, I was like tweeting. I'm like, either you're with us, you're against us at this point. Like you, yeah. you have two choices because, you know. The issue with this crisis, and I think a lot of creators are starting to realize it, but they didn't get it at the beginning, is that if you're like, I was one of the first, like that was non-political to stick my neck out. Mm -hmm. My brother was too. Uh, you just got eight and alive. And, and the yeah. reason why it's so important for all of us to talk is that they like, it's a disinformation campaign run by a government and run by the state department against the American populace. So if every single creator is talking, they can't shut us all up. You know, so it's important that not just leftists who've already been like, you know, like suppressed and targeted and harassed and all that. But like if everyone got involved, what are they going to do? They're going to stop us all. They're going to take down the whole commentary YouTube division. I mean, what are they going to do? So, uh, yeah, as the ball got rolling, more people joined and it was it was great. It was it's crazy to see. I would never think in my lifetime I would see something like that. Yeah, I think that this is going to be really <clears throat> impactful in the long term because a lot of young people don't even know about what's happening like i've seen some tiktok creators that i follow like smaller tiktok creators that are in like different communities uh they got pressure from their audiences for not saying anything and so you know you know you see these uh tiktoks about how look i'm really sorry i didn't know where gaza was on the map so i started by just googling it and this is what i've come to realize uh, and to see that, I think, is really important because everybody's kind of feeling the pressure and they should, because this is one of the mo those moments where you're going to look back and you're going to feel really foolish if you don't speak out. But I think that that is going to encourage the viewers who are apolitical to understand that this isn't just like a typical news story that you hear and you can, you know, put aside like something massive is happening right now that is this is going to be in the history book. So you all have to pay attention. So. The hope that I get from that is seeing like these apolitical YouTubers come together and make this a radicalizing moment for their audiences. I think it's a radicalizing moment for people who were already paying attention. Like, I, I feel like I'm more radical after this entire eight months, you know, just even though I've been following yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, like to see people get involved, I, I think that long term, it's going to be so important because if young people aren't buying into the propaganda, um, then the typical tactics just aren't going to work and it's already not working so i do feel a little bit of hope um or i'm cautiously optimistic about that although you know we're, we're going up against very powerful forces here yeah it's the it's the first time ever in my entire life 
that number one, people knew where Palestine was, and number two, that people are, are on the side of Palestine. You yeah. know, like I think eight, before eight months ago, we went to a, a creator. I went to a creator party. This is like in LA. This is like leftists, right? In LA, the most liberal people ever. And I talked to a bunch of guys, and a guy goes, uh, "Where are you from?" And I'm like, "Oh, I'm Palestinian." Like. It was it was me and my friend who was Jewish and we like walk into a group of a bunch of Jewish guys. So I, I fit right in. I'm fucking Arab. I look the same. So like they're like, oh, you're Jewish. You're Jewish. You're Jewish. Where are you from? And I was like, I'm Palestinian. And the guy goes, are you we're good, right? Like, are we going to get in a fight? You know, like we're good. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you know, I'm like, well, no, I'm going to all the walk for right here, dog. But, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, like, I wasn't expecting it, especially like at creator parties. But I feel like, yeah, now it's one of those things where people are understanding like you know like only some of the people who have been hit with that propaganda and then americans are just like i don't give a shit but uh a lot of people are going like i get what's going on i finally get it and it's one of those things mm -hmm. where i think that you're you touched on like people being radicalized i think this is the first time people are really going oh shit like america's like not the good guys in this like situation yeah, yeah like they, we've been doing like if we've done this in Palestine, like where the fuck else have we been doing this? And I'm like, ah, you should ask Henry Kissinger that question, dude. He's been doing a really good job or did, you know. So, but yeah, that's the one thing is just like I, I never in my life we when we did the uh UCLA encampment, okay. Like I I had gone and hung out on that campus when I was younger. That was probably one of the most Zionist schools I had ever like hung out at. Like I went and partied there and stuff, and people like really did not hate me, uh, did not like me. Now Looking back, it is fucking insane that an encampment is at UCLA and they're fighting for their lives to like to 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 save the the um the people of Gaza. And it's it it, it blows my mind. It's just absolutely like one of the things that I've never I've never, you know, I mean, and the government hates it so much they're trying to shut down TikTok. So yeah. these creators talking about it, like I was talking to a, a bigger creator and they were like, Well, I just don't think I, I matter. And I'm like, bull fucking shit. You matter, dude. They're shutting down TikTok. They're not afraid of uh, Fox News or CNN or all these major organizations that you think have power. They're afraid of you and your millions of followers. Like, the fact of the matter is, if they're shutting down TikTok, then they're afraid of you, okay? Because they're not going to shut down an entire platform and lose fucking money because I bet your ass TikTok makes the, the American government money. They're not going to shut them down and do that unless they're afraid, and they're fucking scared. And that's the thing is like their agenda is not really is not touching. So content creators joining, it's been I've been putting the pressure on them just myself personally, because I'm like, if you all fucking talk, they're fucked. There is no they cannot run disinformation like they used to be able to, because we're not all mm -hmm. sucking it up from, you know, young people just don't watch CNN or, you know, it's MSNBC if they're on the left. If I'm on the right, they're, all, they're they probably already want me dead. But, you know, like that's basically what it is. So, yeah, it's it's yeah. it is. That's why having these, that's why, and I was, we were just in a meeting today, like a little bit before this, and I'm like having all of you guys be a part of it and having like the try guys, we're going to be doing it at their studios, like the tr fucking try, like Buzzfeed people mm -hmm. talk, like be pro pals. It, it's mind blowing. It is one of those things I've just never seen in my lifetime. And I think it's, it is one of those things that I think that it kind of, if anything, I, I wasn't alive during Vietnam. I don't know if any of you guys were. I think we're all too fucking young, but you know, <laughs> you know. But it's one of those things. Like during during uh, Vietnam, they broadcasted the fucking atrocities, and I think that the only thing that's really saved uh, these people is that the broadcasting of dead bodies, you know, unfortunately on TikTok has been one of those things that people are like, oh shit, this is what happens when we send money over there. Like I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah crazy i never told you guys but i actually uh was in vietnam <laughs> nam as we call it. <laughs> yeah you're a war criminal i forgot about that yeah i did two tours on a groupon dog <laughs> i went to vietnam yeah. <laughs> i'm a vet from the war on christmas <laughs> yeah.